Hey guys, it's OKB, and I'm here with the Coffin community. Everyone say hi, or type hi, or something. Um, we're going to go through with Rizzo Sosanade versus uh, Fifth Hokage Sonade, which has been out for a long time, even before Rizzo Sosanade. And Fifth Hokage Sonade is getting breakthroughs and skill trials, which is, frankly, frankly amazing. However, um, yeah, I use the Brave browser for this stuff. And uh, yeah, the, that helps with Nardo Online YouTubers, also Nardo Online Recreators. Make sure to sign up for Creators Brave. Okay, so Rizzo Sosanade um, is quite powerful, but at the moment she's actually not being used in, let's say, Sage or so. Some in like three versus three, versus three arena, maybe like Green Ninja War. A lot of those fights, um, Rizzo Sosanade is good, but I'm gonna go over to. Uh, this team here. So Rizzo Sonade, right now Six Bastonardo actually still suppresses Rizzo Sonade because, well, Six Bastonardo heals when he, he deals damage, right? And Rizzo Sonade, if you're reviving Rizzo Sonade after she dies in a long battle, um, and your opponent gets Six Pass and he's hitting three people, then your opponent's going to get a lot of healing, and that's a problem. So Rizzo Sonade has its own issues. Has, she heals a lot. She's pretty nice. She doesn't die for two rounds. Very useful for a lot of things. But she's not useful for everything. This fifth Hokage Sonade, on the other hand, um, and we can take a look in the game thing here. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Now, without breakthroughs, she kind of sucks, but she was really good. She came out before Six Pass Sonata came out, like a long, long time before that. And all the people who actually spent any money probably had her because she was quite good. She healed three units, but usually healed nine to 12 units based on 16% ninjutsu and cancels one debuff, which is pretty nice. And all healing effects received by units in your ally field increased by 45%. That's massive, right? Now, the only thing that could stop that is Ignition, and back then, Ignition was necessary because there weren't many um, ninjas that were immune to status, or at least good ones, except for Roshi, but Roshi now sucks. So, yeah, we don't use that anymore. Um, but yeah, increased healing by 45%, and you can run Water Main and just be like an immortal team, almost. Um, back without Six Pass Naruto, there was no power... Well, okay, maybe Kakuzu was there strong, but even then, like, it was hard to kill um, Hokage Sonade uh, if you pair her, her with some defense and some extra healing. Because increasing healing by 45% to your, your entire field is pretty insane, right? So that was strong. But nowadays, because she gets killed easily, she has no abilities that uh, let, lets her stay here longer, right? She's just there. There's no defense increase. There's no resistance increase. There's no life increase. There's only healing increase, and healing happens after all the offensive things happen. So um, usually you wouldn't put her in position one most of the time. Um, you would heal after everyone has their standard attack. Um, so six plus an hour will blitz you out. Maybe mystery blitz kill you. You know, even immobilize you. She's not immune to status. Um, there's a lot of problems with Fifth Hokage Sonade without breakthroughs. Um, her mystery is also kind of pointless. Like she increases her injury rate and causes critical rate and low. And uh, which you know, if she causes critical, she causes chaos. But then the chaos, you, you need like uh, you're not uh, say control. If if you don't have enough control, the crit game doing a kill critical rate to someone else's position one won't even cost chaos because of control. You might interrupt, but you can't really interrupt when your opponent's position one is faster than you. So there's like no point in this critical thing that she has without breakthroughs. Now, Rizzo also Sonate. I should probably just type in Sonate so that everyone can see. Um, so it's much easier to see both Sonates. Rizzo also Sonate does have a useful mystery. So that's reviving people, right? And she heals eight to 10 people and counts as one debuff, which is pretty much the same thing as with Hokage Sonate, except if the Hokage Sonate uh, hits nine to 12 people, that's like one one extra person. It's not, not, that, big of, uh, not that big of a deal, might help, um, but you know, the, in terms of healing, they're both decent. However, Rizoso Sonate has two standard attacks for the first two rounds, but after that, it's just one. And that's, uh, that's okay. She also doesn't have an um, increase in healing, which, if Hokage does have, which is nice, but she, at least she survives because she's immune to death 
um, at her bottom, bottom passive, she's immune to death and uh, she can revive to 50% health after your team uses three mystery skills, which could be mean, which might mean three rounds uh, if you're using six pass Naruto against six pass Naruto or Edo Madara against six pass Naruto or whatever that takes a long time to kill, right? She might be useful there, but eh, it, sometimes useful, you know, you have to time, you have to time, uh, you have to time when you want to revive her. So that you don't give your opponent a double-edged sword where you hit yourself because they get an extra standard attack with six fast Naruto or something. Now, what I like to do with Rizal Sosanari is probably something like, uh, if I didn't have the Minato barrier, I'll probably throw in Obito here. Greenage for Obito. And so I'll time oh after my Tsunade dies. Um, I'll have six fast Naruto go back and forth. And then I'll revive um, Tsunade. Like, I'll use my mystery after my opponent. And then I'll revive Tsunade. Um after they use their interruption mystery with the six pass Naruto, then I'll use Sonata to revive Greninja Obito, and the Greninja Obito can now take out my opponent's six pass Naruto, and I'll win, right? So this is like, this is one method of which you can use Brazil's Sonata. There's many other methods. You could, you know, maybe Sage Kabuto here, and everyone just keep reviving and reviving and reviving, and then Sage Kabuto will increase their mystery, and then that means the next round your opponent won't be able to use their mystery. Um, that could work, right? You know, some special tactics like that um, in a one versus one battle. In a two versus two bonds that your team can revive your opponents, your ally team, um, which is a really useful mystery. So at that point, you know, two versus two, three versus three, actually three versus three, especially because your opponent might run a whole bunch of Kisamis and, you know, blitz you out, except Sonade won't get blitzed or she won't die because she's immune to death for two rounds. So, you know, those are some really decent abilities from Rizal Sosanade. Um, for her, her mystery, right? But the chakra cost increases after every use, so it's not infinite. Um, and but yeah, just being immune to death and being able to heal at the end of the round, which means removing debuffs, is really nice. So that's today's meta, right? Um, but fifth Hokage Sonade, the breakthroughs are interesting and they go beyond healing. Like so fifth, fifth Hokage Sonade's healing already surpasses. Rizoso Sonati, except Rizoso Sonati for the first two rounds is better. After that, fifth Hokage is better. But fifth Hokage will die. So what do we do with our breakthroughs? Let's take a look. So I don't actually have fifth Hokage Sonati. Um, I don't think anyone has her breakthroughs right now because her price is like 60,000 ingots. Um, you have to spend 60,000 ingots to actually get her breakthroughs to get her to four stars. And then you have to break through her. So that's even more. Um, she's in Colorful Balloon. Uh, here and that's the only event we have her in at the moment uh, So yeah, she's costly and nobody has her yet probably unless you're unless you're super rich then I guess It's fine, but so I have to go over to uh, this, this uh, This is Kono proxy and we have all six Tsunades here um, Fifth Hokage Tsunades breakthroughs the, and skill trials are very very interesting. They're, I didn't think that Fifth Hokage Sonate would be improved, but it's they just randomly put this here, um, and I'm very surprised on what they tried to do. Uh, keep in mind that China is also different from us. So if you see any footage from China, like I don't know Senban throwing it down here, or you know Eugen sometimes going China, it's different from English versions. All right, and it might also be different from what we have now. They you know when ninjas first come out, sometimes they change the abilities a little bit. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's go from the top. Let's go from mystery. Uh, mystery. So normally the mystery causes critical rate, and that critical rate, thanks to the uh, chaos ability, will uh, cause chaos. But you know a lot of people are immune to status, and people can also dodge this attack. So it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't hit through dodge. But if you do plus two, 30% increase increase in damage, low float, guaranteed critical hit. I think that's already guaranteed. Oh, it has a certain critical hit, so it's guaranteed now. Great. Um, and whenever the skill is used, increase Tsunade's attack by 15%. And within that round, Tsunade cannot be defeated. Okay, so now you have an ability that basically... It's basically the same as Rizuoso Tsunade, except there's a little bit risk in round one. So um, Rizuoso Tsunade is to be immune to death for one for two rounds. This fifth Hokage Tsunade's plus two breakthrough is saying that if you get to use your mystery, you get to survive in round two. Rizuoso Tsunade wins in this one. For sure. Um, and that's because, one, we don't really need an increase in damage for someone who's a healer and not a position one, 
right? Um, cause is low, guaranteed critical hit, chaos. Okay, that, that, all that is fine, but it's not a big deal. And you're also, why are you increasing attack? Like, her attack, in, her mystery attack, his, ah, her mystery damage is attack, um, taijutsu. So it's 15% increase. But we're not going to use her for damage. Unless you're in arena, that's a different story. But still, like, you're only hitting one guy and you're just interrupting one guy, causing chaos to one person. Like, literally any other you know, ninja can do something like that. As aside from, like, increasing damage and critical hit, right? Maybe, okay, maybe if you're stacking her and you're just, you know, heal hitting someone. I actually, I don't, I don't even, I can't even think of a scenario where, where you would use this sort of attack. It's not bad as a support, but aside from Romina, it's point, kind of pointless. So, um, increasing attack, I would rather you increase ninjutsu, really. Um, so you can increase your healing. That would be even better. That would make a lot more sense to me. Okay, the Y skill in, uh, for Mystery is causing damage, low float, suppress super armor until the end of the next round. Okay, that I can see a good use for that. Um, Edomata. Oh, no, Edomata has doesn't have super armor until... He uses Mystery, which becomes level 2 Super Armor, which means you can't suppress it. So, it's, it's not a lot of Super Armors that we can do use this on. Very situational, still not that great. Um, goes until the end in the next round, which is nice, but still. Alright, right, guaranteed critical hit, so maybe like Chaos or something. Still, I, I'm still seeing this only in Arena so, uh, so far. Additionally, decrease that unit's standard attack damage by 50% until the end of the next round. Huh, now that changes things. Six pass Naruto, right? Um, even Tento's Obito, uh, his standard attack is pretty strong, but his chase is the strongest, so I guess it's not that helpful. Still, this is good against six pass Naruto, for sure. Though, at the moment, it's a wheel ninja, so if you are if you can afford Sonate, you could probably afford... No, actually, maybe Tento's Obito is too whale even for most people, even for whales. Um, so maybe not exactly, but yeah. She's good against six pass Naruto at the very least, uh, and reducing fifty percent until the end of the next round is a big deal. Um, unless, man, it'll be kind of funny if you run Edo Itachi too. So Edo, Edo Itachi reduces ninjutsu, pure ninjutsu attacks by fifty percent for two attacks, and then Tsunade will reduce it by fifty percent, so it'll be like twenty five percent. That's pretty nice. But um, still, being able to do this is a double edged sword because remember that six pass Naruto gets an extra standard attack which increases his own, his own ninjutsu by 15% um, when you use this mystery. So it's lowering the amount of damage you're being hit now for later. Uh, and you can actually like, do a lot. So this, even though if that's a risk, it's still helpful. You can, maybe, if I throw in Granger Obito or Kimono Kakashi removing people from the field, maybe I can get more standard attacks with my six pass Naruto. And even if I don't kill the entire team, I will have stacked more than the other side. There's this little other, whole bunch of stuff you guys can try to do here. Uh, if I do, let's see, if I throw in Sonate with Naruto and uh, Obito, right? Uh, you need to Obito, where is he? Huh, where did, oh, here, right here. All right, so, yeah, maybe he might die in round two. Who knows? But Sonati will heal him in round one, so he doesn't die in round two. All right, we can try that. Now, in my experience, because there's dodge, um, Six Master Naruto can maybe take out your opponent's dodge, and the Greninja Obito can um, take away their their Obito, uh, their Six Master Naruto, and then your Six Master Naruto can gain extra ninjutsu attacks, um, which means you're, you know, 15 or 30% increase in ninjutsu and your opponent is zero. But then he's going to come back. And then after you know, round three, four, or five, um, with a, with the breakthrough, uh, you can use Sonate now in round three or four, and they can because uh, Greninja Obito has it's, it's, uh, three down cooldown, I think. So Sonate can reduce it for two rounds, and then you can go on, on to the next round. I guess that is the random thing I was thinking about for uh, six, uh, for free to play people, but through ten deals Obito, um, oh, you can't do two versions of Obito, right? If you do ten tails, ten ten tails Obito, just based on this, actually it wouldn't be that helpful because you'll probably be fighting other ten ten tails Obito on its own already, already uh, stopped six fast Naruto, so we don't really need Sonate for that. Um, if you're fighting another Obito, uh, I guess it'll be a little bit helpful, but not really. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, I don't see this in a whale sense yet. Okay, let's go back to Sonata abilities. Um, 
So we're only gone on. We've only, we've only looked at the mystery, but yeah, if you're willing enough to get this, and but not enough to get Ten Tails Obito, then I guess if you fight a lot of six passionados, this works. Uh, yeah, that's just I don't know. Okay, that's only the mystery abilities that we're talking about now. Um, but it's, yeah, it is pretty important. So uh, let's see, healing, healing. So normally you heal nine to twelve people. Um, you take away one debuff. Uh, three, usually nine to twelve. So the plus two is healing six, but usually nine to eighteen. Um, the Y plus one is healing nine to twelve. Uh, okay, so this is more of a one versus one thing, and remove all debuffs, cancels all debuffs. So I would prefer the Y plus one, of course. Additionally, units healed has a chance of having their defensive resistance increased by five percent. It's a bonus, you know. Um, I don't think she. Ha We're gonna have to see later to see if she gets extra standard attacks. But um, if she gets standard, extra standard attacks, it's kind of a. It's pretty helpful. It's keeping them alive and also getting, getting a little bit extra defensive resistance, which might help towards the end when there's only one ninja on the field. Um, six fast Naruto against six fast Naruto, Edomato versus Edomato, Tentos Obito versus Tentos Obito. Who knows, right? When that happens, maybe your defensive resistance will give you the edge over your opponent. So, uh, yeah, so definitely Y plus one skill. Um, you can hit 918, 9 to 12. See, on, on your side of the field, unless you have clones or something, um, you can only have 12 ninjas on the field. Because uh, if you have three people, if you're fighting Green Ninja War, you have like three people, four ninjas, four ninjas, four ninjas, right? So, uh, 9 to 12 units. Yeah, uh, you, you, you literally don't need this 9 to 18 units unless you know you're going to summon clones or something that's important. Setsu or something like that, maybe. Um, I don't know what else. Oh, maybe Great Ninja Orochi Maru for the whales, right? So it's, um, let's see, Orochi. If you're throwing Orochi, Great Ninja Orochi Maru here. Um, hmm. Let's see, mystery damage. No, not a mystery. The, you're summoning Edo Minato, and then you're just going to summon Tobirama, and then you're going to summon Hiruzen, and then Hash Hashirama. So yeah, I guess if you're going to do this... Maybe you don't have Tendo's Obito because he costs too much, which is understandable. Um, Ginyudro Ochimaru uh, will summon a whole bunch of... You, you can actually put him as position 1 for sure. So, yeah, you can do that. Increase your damage over and over again. And have Tsunade heal everybody. That works too. If your side has three Ginyudro Orochimaru's for whatever reason, and you can probably do a Tsunade here for that uh, with breakthroughs. So that would make sense. That uh, would make sense to me um, here. And then probably Earth Main to increase everyone's defense, and I don't know what the fourth ninja would be. But yeah, that's some. Those are some ideas you can throw in with this if you don't have Obito, though Obito is still the best. Okay, that's yeah, that's that's some ideas. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so that's the healing for the standard attacks. Most of the time, you're going to want Y plus one though. That 60% healing's I think better than most healers too. Okay, now we have this. Increase 45% passive ability to a ninja from your field. No, I mean, in the game it says to all to your ally ninjas, even without breakthroughs. So um, that's the difference between proxy and uh, the game. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting the game on this one, to be honest. Now, if you do get a plus two, all healing effects increase by 45%. Okay, I mean, that's already there. Units in your ally field have, if your units... Um, if units in your ally field have their life higher than 60%, their defense and resistance increase by 20%. So this is more of like a, in the beginning, you'll have a slightly higher defense and resistance. It's a bonus, but it's not huge, all right? Um, it's, it can definitely change the battle, though, if, if you're pretty even with the other side. Okay, also, at the beginning of each round, increase Sonata's chase time by one, stackable up to five times. So in round two, she'll get an extra, I mean, in round one, she'll get an extra two chases, maybe? And there might be something about her chase, so we'll get to that. Um, y skill. Uh, all healing units, resealed by units, will increase by 45%. Okay, that's, that's typical. And when Tsunade reseals fatal damage, escape death and covers life 20%, can be triggered three times per battle. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe. Kind of. You know, it... Eh... This can I can see this easily being destroyed by Obito's chase, um, repulse knockdown ignores defense and resistance. When you revive, you you're still getting chased, so it's like knockdown, repulse, repulse knockdown, dead. 
knock down repulse, repulse, knock down, dead. Two times. That's just like two times away in battle. So it, it's hard to say. Now, the good thing is that you can heal yourself and make it harder to, you know, kill Sonate. But recovering only 20% life means one attack could kill you. So um, kind of, maybe, I don't know how useful this will be, but um, maybe. I mean, between the defensive resistance increase in the beginning and also increase the number of chases, um, which actually would be good if you use it with Obito, right? So instead of Asher, you could do something like this. Um, we're getting a lot of ninjas that increase the number of chases you can get. Oh, but this is only for Sonate, so... Uh. Oh, well, okay. Uh, you probably don't need... Yeah, we're going to take a look at the chase to figure out which one's better. But I'll probably take this one uh, over the plus two normally, all right? Uh, just because the 20% is well decent... It's only a little bit. Um, it could be kind of useful with Earth Main, though, for sure. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a look at the chases and see. All right, normally it's low high, which, you know, a good chance of critical hit, I think. Um, that's, yeah. And then cause low. So with a plus two, chase low, 30% damage increase, cause high, and she gets an extra standard attack. Okay, so that's our thing. So um, we can technically have more than two standard attacks that Ruzil So Sonati has, but at the same time, there's a chance that you only get one, um, unlike Rizal So Sonate. Depends on whether uh, whether you're able to get that chase. So, if you're gonna use this with for the whales, right? Ten toes Obito thrown here. He causes low, so with this mystery, so that's kind of nice. Um, that means you can heal twice in round two or something. He's also gonna cause ignition, right? Um, so maybe the first time is to heal all ignition, the second time is to actually heal. Uh, that could work. But that's only if Sonate um, is not paralyzed or immobilized or chaos or something, right? So that's, while nice, that's a good combo. Um, she's not immune to status. At least I don't see her being immune to status on any abilities so far. Um, so while that looks nice, she could be immobilized somehow. Right? Maybe you can have a double healer to help that out. But um, if you try to heal, you know, you got to make sure... You, yeah, you're going to make sure you at least have a double healer. Um, and if you're fighting 6 fast Nardo, then that double healer might backfire a little bit. Uh, yeah. I'm, ooh, okay. The other one is to cost low, high, ignores defense, some defense, and increase critical rate. And increase critical rate? Right, okay. Eh, that's fair. So that probably goes into the bottom passive. So it's, it's all connected. Cause chaos to anyone who gets a critical attack, right? So the plus two is... Whenever Sonata causes critical rate, she also causes an extreme chaos, suppress immunity to debuffs for one round, which sounds great, especially in an arena, but also not going to be useful for, uh, yeah, if you're fighting uh, someone else's position one outside of an arena. And also, I mean, suppressing immunity to debuffs is kind of nice, so I guess you could do this on literally any other support, so, I mean, it's kind of useful there, I guess. Uh, extreme chaos, I, I believe it's the... Am I right? Um, am I right to say that? Let's see. Extreme chaos is when you require some chakra to remove it, right? Or was it for two rounds? I kind of forgot what extreme chaos does. Does it, does anyone remember um, what extreme chaos does? I think it's the chakra, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but if it's if it's about chakra, then it's kind of nice, I guess, because you, you can. Technically, because Ten Tails will be toe, technically reduces the amount of chakra you can have. Um, so that'll be, that would actually be kind of nice with Obito. Simply because, yeah, being being able to cause extreme chaos, even if you're not doing it to position one, you might be able to do it to someone else. Um, huh. Uh, hmm. Extreme chaos, suppress immunity. And the, the only thing that's missing is dodge so if, if if your opponent has dodge then it won't hit but hmm. ooh, okay a lot of tactics i can think of especially in arena but outside of arena it's kind of tough okay so sonata is immune to all debuffs for the y and okay so there's our immune to debuffs units attacking sonata has a 55 chance of suffering from chaos which is whatever because there's no immunity to stay out okay uh immunity to status so it's just like another Rene renegon sasuke but his chaos ability which is whatever but you probably want to put it on here to be immune to debuffs that's the main point um but hitting this 
This is more offensive. This is if you're faster. Um, if you can cause a critical hit, extreme chaos and press immunity. Yeah, if you if you can stop someone else's, I don't know. Maybe maybe the other side has like Kimono Kakashi or something like that. You can try to do extreme chaos him, so he's hard to um, miss with if you have a Ten Tails Obito. So, yeah, that is. Ooh. So, what is the best one? Let, let me go over this again to see. So, in terms of best mystery, probably this one, right? Probably the Y skill, just to stop your standard attacks. Even if you're not fighting a 6 pass Naruto, stopping someone else's position 1 standard attack damage is still going to be more helpful than just, uh, just, what is this? A little, ex little bit of extra damage. Yeah, she really should not be a position 1. Um, and you can express super armor, which might be occasionally helpful. So, that's, that's, yeah, the Y skill is the best here. Now, which one should we do for the standard attack? Well, probably the Y plus 1, even though you're hitting 9 or 12 people. Uh, usually that's good for 1 versus 1, even 2 versus 2. Uh, 3 versus 3, maybe here if you're using Green Ninja or, or Chimaru, but I don't really see many other methods of using plus 2. So that's, yeah, that's the mystery ability you want to do. All healing effects received by units in your ally increased by 40%. This one, defense and resistance increase, increasing number of chases versus her escaping death. Here's the thing, if you're using Tendo's Obito, chances are you're going to kill the other sides a lot faster. Um, the only reason you would want the number of chase times increased by one is if you want to blitz somebody out. And that could work. So this depends on your team. Um, if you want to survive more in, in the beginning, if you want to blitz a little bit in the beginning with this Tendo's Obito's chase or maybe some six blast Nardo attacks or something like that, then yeah, sure. Um, probably this is situational, so I'm not going to pick one or the other. This one is good if you want to blitz in the beginning. This one is good uh, if you want to st stay a little bit longer because being able to survive longer and also having higher healing is just a general thing, right? Um, if you're also, if you're confident you can revive her, I would probably take this as well. Um, no, yeah, well, hold on. If, if you can revive Sonate with Katsugurishin, Kakuzu, Sage Kapita, or something like that, then, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably still take the medical Sage. No, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, just... I guess it's situational. If you really need that chase, if that chase, if you're not gonna get that chase, because Tendo's Obito doesn't cause his own chase, you need other ninjas around him. So, it sometimes having an increasing number of chases is pointless. Um, yeah, but yeah, I might actually take the plus two a little bit over. No, maybe the plus two, probably the plus two. Um, but it's situational. So, all right. So why why plus two? Um, this one. Definitely the standard standard attack because you want more healing, um, increased critical. Crit this is just extra damage. So yeah, definitely the plus two, and then we have the chaos, which would be extreme chaos immune debuffs or she's immune to all debuffs. Um, chance of chaos, fifty percent chance of chaos, or you cause extreme chaos when causing a critical hit. Um, depends on whether you want to be. Fa if you're faster, if you're confident, you're going to be faster, and you're you're going to be able to. Because uh, Tendo Zobito causes low with his mystery, right? So if you're confident you're able to get that off, then I guess, yeah, getting the extra standard attack, probably this would be better for offensive. And if you want defensive, definitely the immunity debuffs. Um, in general, though, I would probably go with the Y skill here. Uh, so yeah, let me choose this, this, this. Yeah, so yeah, this is, this is the general setup. I just bit my tongue. Uh, this is a general setup I'd probably choose, but it does change according to what you're trying to accomplish in your team. Okay. Now, when I compare this to Rizoso Sanade, I actually think that 5th Hokage Sanade is better with his, her breakthroughs than Rizoso Sanade because Rizoso Sanade, while you can revive people, it, you know, after round two, even if she can revive, um, only she can only revive and the only thing that will help you when you're fighting, when, she, when you're reviving people, is if you're, other ninja like Ninja Obito or Kimono Kakashi or something is able to provide something for your position one. Um, damage, defense, or just removing them from the field. Something like that. So I would say 5th Hokage Sanade has more use than Uzoso Sanade. Um, yeah, it, I, I just in today's meta, I think 5th Hokage's breakthroughs is, and skill trials is going to be better than 
Sonati, Ruzel Sonati. However, she costs a lot. So if we go back to, um, remember she costs like 60,000 or so ingots to get from Colorful Balloon for this event. So we're going to wait until next week. Go ahead and grab some fragments of her, but still like 60,000 ingots. Uh, in terms of dollars, that's like, I uh, can't quite remember, divide by 50. A thousand or something like that? Yeah, just, just don't do that. Uh, <laughs> you can get her fragments, just don't do not do that for this event. Wait for next week. All right. Um, and if Reserve Soul Sonati was a 7.5, that's what I'm going to give her, the fifth Hokage Sonati would be an 8.5, maybe. 8.25, maybe something around there in terms of how good the ninja is. Is she a meta? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's a much, she's the best healer we have at the moment. I mean, I can compare her to Taka Karn, for example. But Taka Karn is, um, he she is somewhat similar, but some of her abilities are just not useful. So the no, low knockdown he doesn't do anything, and yeah, the low knockdown doesn't do anything. Deals more damage, but it's really not that much more useful. Um. Yeah, the Taka Karan is below, actually on par with Rizelso Sonate. Yeah, so I would say Rizelso Sonate is a full level below 5th Hokage Sonate breakthroughs. It's just, is it really worth it for you to get it? I would probably recommend you guys to go for your offensive ninjas first, Genijuro or Trimaru or something like that, or like a Jiraiya, before you get 5th Hokage Sonate breakthroughs. Unless you want to go for... Um, Three versus three, two versus two, bonds or something like that. Then yeah, maybe that. Okay, so that's Rizoso Sonari versus Hokage Sonari. Like they're used pretty differently. There's also one last ninja we want we want to go over. Um, let's go with let's see, Crazy Slot Machine is kind of nice. Uh, what was the other ninja that was rare? Um, Crazy Slot, Eno Flowers, Color Balloon. What was the Diderot, right? The Renin Festival Diderot? Where is he? I totally forgot where he was. Uh, recharge? Oh, yeah. He's down on the recharge. All right. So we have a 50,000 ingot recharge ninja. And he's not worth it. <laughs> not At least not 50,000. He's good, but he's... 50,000? Like, really? Uh, <sighs> okay, so... Here's the thing, Renin Festival Daidara is the meta to Infinite Illusions of Chase. It's better than Kotetsu, um, and probably as a position one, he, yeah, yeah, he's definitely better than Kotetsu. He's probably the best chaser ever um, in terms of a 10 round battle, yeah. So this, this he's hands down the best ninja you can use for Infinite Illusions of uh, Trial of Strength, right, Chase Damage. Uh, why? Well, first of all, he's... Let's go back to recharge. He increases... If you take a look at his bottom uh, passive... Yeah, his bottom passive. He uses me into debuffs. He, uh, whenever Jidar ex executes his chase attack, increases attack and ninjutsu by 12%, stackable, and at the beginning of every round, increases his own chase trigger time by 1, up to 8 times. Now, I don't know if that... That probably stacks with Shirinai. If he doesn't, um, it would be weird, but if he does, and I'm pretty sh I'm like 90% sure that he does, then he would be able to stack 18 times in total. Um, yeah, just, you know, at, by round 8, he'll have 18 times of chase, and 18 times 12 is, uh, 36 plus 120, 156% one for one round. Now, he won't get that for every single round, but at least he's able to increase up to that much. And it's 12%. Kodetsu only does 5%. And he has two chases. One of which also... So, Daidori also has two chases. But Kotetsu hits three people with one of his chase. And that chase ignores some defensive... No, hold on. That chase is pure Taijutsu, right? Um, but Daidori's chase does not hit three people. Um, or both, both, both his chases doesn't hit three people. But... Uh, one of his chases does ignore defensive resistance, and he's increasing attack and ninjutsu together, so um, it doesn't matter if it's tight and ninjutsu or just ninjutsu. They're all increasing by 12%. Kodetsu only increases by 5%, and he has less chase times. 
So right away, Dider is better still, even though he has three people with his uh, 20 combo chase. Um, and this is much easier to help chase. Like, Dider's chase is high repulse, clay binding, which I'll discuss in a moment, ignores some def defensive resistance. Um, his uh, second chase is cause knockdown, ca uh, chase, chase knockdown, cause high, and his first chase is chase high, cause repulse. And so it's a connecting chase. You only need someone to cause knockdown, like, one time. That's about it. And you don't need any 10 combos or 20 combos. That makes it a lot easier. Someone who can cause knockdown. There's a lot of them. Your position, your main could cause knockdown, right? Yeah. Um, you can even throw this in, you know, what's what's a team I can throw in with this? Like, a, uh, I'm going to see any comments here. Uh, break these. Lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dark just came in. So let's see. Um, let's throw in Didera. I'm not gonna make the two make this too long, but I'm gonna just make a I don't know increased number of chases. There's a ninja that's Ashura, right? Ashura, uh, Ashura is one of those, and there's a lot of ninjas that do do this now, right? So Ashura, this is the whale version. You can substitute it pretty easily. Um, okay, so I got cut off on my recording. Um, let's go back to the topic. So Daidara has a perfect combo with uh, Ashura Asatsuki. And you can also use your Earth Main to help complete that combo. And I looked through a lot of ninjas, and I could not find a third ninja or a fourth ninja that will increase the number of or increase combos that would help. So the only ninja left I would probably throw in was Orochimaru, Granger Orochimaru for the whales, or any, pretty much any uh, anybody who gives increase in damage or increase in scaling, like Christmas Kashina or something, um, for these guys here, uh, for my fourth ninja. Right, um, this th this is a perfect chaser. Uh, so Dider has a high repulse, knockdown high chase, um, and that's perfect. So sh if someone causes knockdown, he'll go knockdown high, high repulse, and then someone just needs to go repulse knockdown. Asher increases the number of chases you can get, so you don't have to use Shirenai, and he has repulse knockdown chase that increases defensive resistance, which is very nice. Um, and that's you know, a little bit of extra damage. You're not scaling him, um, but you're Ignoring a lot of defensive resistance, that's some extra damage there, right? Just for all 10 rounds. And so you're increasing the number of chases. So Asha can chase five times, up to five times. Um, so you need more repulse knockdowns because Daidara will have, with his bo passive, bottom passive ability, he can chase, uh, wait, not 18 times. Uh, it's Each ability is one time, so 13 times. There we go, 13 times. Um, so eight, eight plus with 13 times. So Ashura will have five times. So you need eight more times. You can use your Earth Main to has rep have Repulse Knockdown chases on both Earth Main's normal chase and also the Summon chase. And then you'll have like 10 Repulse Knockdown chases, which is perfect for Daidara. And this is like a perfect combo, a lot of scaling. And by round eight, you'll have 154% increase in attack and ninjutsu. Um, you know, 154% just increase in okay maybe not increase in damage but 154 percent increase in attack and ninjutsu which means both his chases um gain that 154 percent kotetsu the free-to-play meta only increases taijutsu but then one of his abil abilities um hits three people and ignores some defense uh so you know that's that's it's if he lowers the damage a bit but dider is just straight on damage and even though he's 50,000 ingots he is still a meta for infinite illusions that might give you some, get you some extra. I don't, I don't know if you get a title from being the number one in infinite illusions, but um, you get do get some extra coupons uh, for sure. So yeah, this this is like probably the best team you can make with this with Dider. Once he's he doesn't cost so much. Once you get him, um, he's this is probably the best infinite illusion teams you can try to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you got some some, some sort of other buffy ideas um maybe we'll have another ninja that increases the number of chases again that's really helpful but yeah the, the, if you guys can get him in action like this i think you'll probably do twice as good as okay maybe not twice as good almost almost twice as good because you know actually yeah i think you'll do twice as good as katetsu in infinite illusions of chase just due to this and the last thing to mention is probably just the clay binding which uh Clay binding whenever a unit suffers from debuffs, um, they suffer additional damage 
um, one percent life. <coughs> At the end of the round, deal damage equal to fifteen percent of their max life, up to twenty thousand damage. Hmm. That's what. That's what Conan Proxy says. I'm not hundred percent sure that's true here though. Uh, it's a irremo irremovable and neglects immunity. Okay. If this neglects immunity, I'm really happy for this because th now I can see why it's. Oh, now I can see why it's good because it hit, hit, it actually automatically hits the immunity. Um, I didn't know this until I got into Conan Proxy, so that's nice. So this could go against Tentails Obito, actually. Um, he doesn't use Parent Ninjutsu, so you know Tentails Obito won't heal. Well, okay, maybe for the chase, but um, the rest of his attacks will deal extra damage. So. He's not immune to status, and he doesn't have any defensive abilities, though. And so, maybe in the 3 versus 3 setting, where you go Tendo's Obito versus Daidara, you can use Daidara and take over. Um, so, Clay Binding is actually a better version of Ignition. Huh. Now, now I see. Now I see why Daidara is on here. All right. But he's 50,000. He's not worth 50,000 ingots. He's not. He's probably not going to... He's probably not going to take over Tendo's Obito. Maybe if you're faster, it'll work. But I don't think he will because Tendo's Obito has more attacks uh, just in general. And he can suppress... I mean, he, he can deal a lot of damage with his chase on uh, Daidara. And he can suppress immunity to status. Daidara doesn't even have immunity to status. So, you know, you, you can probably just get controlled. So that's a problem. Um, this is like a s half solution to fighting Obito. You, you need other really good something. You, you just need something else to... It's kind of like Ronin Zabuza, where you can take away uh, Six Pass Naruto's standard attacks, but you can't take away the mystery, which means Ronin Zabuza can still die by round two um, and get controlled by round two because Six Pass Naruto can suppress super armor. It's kind of like that. He's like the Ronin Zabuza to Six Pass Naruto, a half measure. And you gotta, you got to create a really creative team um, against teams people are using in in Sage, and if someone's using an unusual, unusual team, then you might lose. So that's my idea of Dider at the moment. All right, guys, um, that should be it. Results of Sonari versus Fifth Hokage Sonari. Fifth Hokage Sonari breakthroughs are better. I'll guess seventy percent of the time for the people who are asking whether you should get her or not. She's still really expensive. Sixty thousand ingots for about to get that four stars from three uh, from nothing. Right, it's, she's about thirty thousand to get her three stars and a little bit more uh probably yes yeah. so if it's a little bit more it's like 65,000 ingots a little bit more if you want to get her four stars at the moment um that's just from the colorful balloon activity but uh she's her price is going to go down she's going to be in more events i would say she's meta uh for sure just occasional meta depending on what team you want to use all right guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one